Magandang araw, Math Explorers! Today, we will unlock another exciting adventure in fractions. Class, imagine this. You have a 4-meter rope, and you want to cut it into pieces that are each 1 half meter long. How many pieces can you make? Or, what if Lola Amor has 14 cups of flour and needs 1 and 3 quarters cups for each chocolate cake? How many cakes can she bake? These are real-life situations that involve dividing fractions. Today, we're going to learn how to solve them step by step. Before dividing fractions, let's quickly recall how to multiply them. For example, 1 half times 3 quarters equals what? Multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. Answer, 3 eighths. 2 thirds times 4 fifths equals what? Answer, 8 fifteenths. What do we do when multiplying fractions? What happens if one factor is a whole number, like 8 times 1 quarter? And how do we handle mixed numbers like 3 and 1 third times 5 sevenths? Excellent! Knowing multiplication helps us understand division of fractions better. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to divide fractions using models, divide a fraction by another fraction using reciprocals, Solve real-life problems that involve division of fractions. Let's go back to our rope problem. A 4-meter rope is cut into half-meter pieces. Using a fraction bar model, we divide each meter into halves. We get 8 pieces in total. So, 4 divided by 1 half equals 8. Now let's try another. Lisa bought 4 pizzas. Each friend gets 2 thirds of a pizza. How many friends can share? Let us divide each pizza into three to create one-third parts. By grouping the slices into sets of two-thirds, we can see that six friends can share. What do you notice about the quotient? Is it smaller or bigger than the dividend? Why do you think dividing by a small fraction gives a bigger answer? Now let's look at the rule for dividing fractions. Instead of always using models, we can use a shortcut. But first, what is a reciprocal? The reciprocal of a number or a fraction is simply its flip or inverse. For a whole number, we place it over 1, then flip it. For a fraction, we exchange the numerator and denominator. Examples. The reciprocal of 2 is 1 half because 2 equals 2 over 1. Flip equals 1 half. The reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 halves. The reciprocal of 5 eighths is 8 fifths. Think of reciprocals as a mirror image of a fraction. Turn it upside down. Let's try this. 7 divided by 1 half. Step 1. Find the reciprocal of the divisor, 1 half. The reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. Step 2. Multiply the dividend by the reciprocal. 7 times 2 over 1 equals 14. Therefore, 7 divided by 1 half equals 14. When we divide by a fraction, we are asking, how many pieces of that fraction fit into the number? For example, how many halves fit into 7? The answer is 14 halves. Worked examples. 8 divided by 2 thirds. 8 times 3 halves equals 12. 
4 fifths divide 2. 4 fifths times 1 half equals 2 fifths. 6 sevenths divided by 3 fifths. 6 sevenths times 5 thirds equals 30. 20 first equals 10 sevenths equals 1 and 3 sevenths. Let's practice. 3 divided by 1 quarter equals 2 divided by 1 sixth equals 9 divided by 1 and a half equals who can solve? Fractions are everywhere, in recipes, medicine, and even shopping. Let's solve two real-world problems. Problem 1. Health and Wellness A bottle of vitamin C has 910 milligrams. The daily dosage is 45 and a half milligrams. How many days will it last? Solution. 910 divided by 45 and a half equals 20 days. Problem 2. Cooking. Lola Amor has 14 cups of flour. Each cake needs 1 and 3 quarters cups. How many cakes can she bake? Solution. 14 divided by 1 and 3 quarters equals 8 cakes. Why do you think accurate measurements are important when cooking or taking medicine? Let's solve together. Try these. 10 divided by 2 fifths equals 5 and 1 quarter divided by 3 quarters equals Nelly takes 25 and a quarter milliliters of medicine daily. If she has 1,010 milliliters, how many days will it last? Today we learned that to divide fractions, multiply by the reciprocal. Models like bars and pies help us visualize the process. Division of fractions is useful in real life, like cutting ropes, sharing pizzas, baking, or taking medicine. Solve these on your own. A baker has two cakes left half of one and three quarters of the other. If each serving is one eighth of a cake, how many servings can he make? Lito sells peanuts. He has 15 cups and each bag has one and a half cups. If each bag costs 55 pesos, how much will he earn? Dividing fractions is not just a math skill, it's a life skill. So next time you bake, share food, or follow a prescription, remember, you're actually doing math.